Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's so great to have you guys. I also wanted to welcome back all of my brand new subscribers and anyone who's randomly coming across this video. It's so great to have you guys. So for today's video, what we're going to be doing is covering an illness called ADV. So let's get to it. So when it comes to ADV, this stands for actadenovirus. I know I'm not pronouncing this right, but it's spelled like this. And in older literature, it was called adenovirus. It is also known as the wasting disease and stargazing disease. And this needs to be tested for whenever you get a bearded dragon because it is extremely contagious and it's deadly. And unfortunately, there is no known cure. ADV is more common in beardies than it is in any other reptiles, but other reptiles can carry it. And also humans can be carriers as well. So when it comes to the symptoms, dragons that are under 90 days old are more at risk of having this simply because these dragons are usually kept with their clutch. They are kept in tanks with a bunch of other little baby dragons. They could have gotten it from their male or female parent and it was transmitted and now all of the babies have it as well and any dragon that you get near with these dragons it's going to also contaminate them. So it's very common in pet stores with baby dragons in the same tank and it's also very common in breeding colonies because they're in the same tank or within the same vicinity and people don't practice proper hygiene. So the symptoms are weight loss, diarrhea, loss of energy, neurological issues because the virus has spread to their spinal column and their brain, seizures, and then uncontrollable rolling around in the tank. They are also more prone to parasites because their immune system is so bad. So this brings us to the causes. Now, it is very, very contagious. So if you have a dragon who is positive for ADV, anywhere near a dragon who is negative, that dragon who's positive will now give it to the dragon just because they're in the same vicinity. Don't have them in the same tank. Don't use the same equipment. Don't recycle bugs from one tank to another one along with greens, veggies, fruits, or even accessories. Don't take a hide from this tank and put it in this tank. Even something like using the same feeding tongs to feed one dragon to the next dragon, that can still pass bacteria. If you hold one dragon who's positive, don't wash your hands and hold a dragon who's negative, that dragon who was negative is now positive because you didn't practice proper hygiene. So don't cohab dragons, don't recycle any bugs, don't use the same accessories from one tank to the next, and wash your hands. <laughs> also be sure to keep their tank clean, pick up any poo, feces, anything like that. Make sure you're cleaning weekly and if you don't know how to clean your tank properly, here's a video on that right here. When testing for ADV, they generally test through a blood sample and also sometimes a fecal sample as well. Dragons that test positive for ADV can live long healthy lives they just need a little bit of treatment but it's the dragons that are below 90 days that have a larger risk of passing away from this because this illness can kill them and just to recap there is no known cure for ADV but they can still live long lasting lives you just need to know if they're positive or not for ADV so I would be sure to go to the vet for that so that's pretty much my spiel on ADV but stay tuned to the end because I will have bloopers and extra lizard footage. Alrighty, so that brings us to the lizard of the week. So the lizard of the week this week is Archie. What a beautiful, beautiful boy. He's over here doing planks or something. I mean, he is gorgeous. I love the setup. Congratulations, you two. If you want your lizard to be the lizard of the week next week, be sure to send me those photos to my social media accounts. So with that being said, if you're still watching, be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to turn on the notification bell for this channel and my second channel, Alex's Random entertainment on this channel is not lizard related and it is also not child friendly so keep that in mind. Be sure to check out my website at www.lizardguru.com to get things that you won't find anywhere else for you and your lizard. And lastly I haven't mentioned this in any other video but if you do want to send me anything for any reason cards whatever it is I do have a PO box and I'm gonna put that right here. I'm also gonna put it in the description so you guys can send me something if you want to. Alrighty you guys so as always, from my family to yours, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. But first, enjoy some extra lizard footage and bloopers. Mwah!
So for today's video, what we're going to be doing is covering a disease called... So for today's video, what we're going to be doing is covering a... And in older literature, it's... Because the virus has spread to their spinal column. When testing for ADV, they generally use it 